Hello and welcome to McChat, the video channel that puts the fun into Salesforce Marketing Cloud. My name is Elliot Harper and I put this video series together to share tips and best practices to help you get the most out of Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Now in this episode, I'll explain the platform behavior for a couple of different scenarios when writing SQL query activities in Automation Studio. I know that many users are unaware that the platform doesn't literally interpret your queries, but applies additional processes to optimize your queries when you save them. Now you've probably all used the star wildcard character in SQL statements to include all fields from a data extension. And this can be a great time saver, particularly when working with data extensions with dozens of fields, as it provides a convenient method to include all the fields in a data extension, rather than having to type each field in turn. However, when you save your SQL query, the platform retrieves all the fields in the data extension and uses these field names instead of the wildcard character. So if your data extension schema changes, for example, perhaps you add new fields to the data extension used in a FOM clause, then these fields won't be included in your query until you resave that query activity. Also, as another tip, you can conveniently add all fields in a data extension to your query simply by navigating to the data extension in the left panel and dragging the data extension to your query, which automatically adds all fields from the data extension to your query. That's probably a safer way to include all fields, as you can easily see which fields are included. The no-lock hint in SQL prevent reads from being deadlocked by other operations. In other words, it allows the query to read data from data extensions by ignoring any locks imposed on them, and therefore prevents them from being blocked by other processes. And I've seen many users insist on using that with no lock hint in all their queries with the belief that their queries will actually run faster. But they don't. You see, the platform already applies this hint to your queries under the hood. It has absolutely no impact as the system wraps this hint for you. The no-lock hint is always enforced, no matter what your query looks like, so there's no need to include it. Well, that's all we have time for this time, but don't forget to subscribe to this video channel for other tips in working with Salesforce Marketing Cloud. See you next time.